vaccine passports aren't enough for the SNP. Just when you thought John Swinney couldn't get any more useless than he already is, he's now caused fresh confusion. I've brought you the videos already about the expansion of the vaccine passport scheme that's going to be rolled out to pubs, cinemas, restaurants and such alike. But Swinney's now also said that a vaccine passport may not be enough. So he's now going to ask people, he's thinking about it anyway, going to ask people to present a negative COVID test as well as a vaccine passport. What's the point? There is no point whatsoever. If you've got a vaccine passport and you do a negative test, what's, what's the more relevant? It's the negative test. Because if you know you're negative, then you're not going to spread it around inside a venue, are you? If you've got a vaccine passport, it becomes irrelevant. The test is what they want to see. They might as well have forgot the vaccine passport thing altogether because it's probably cost God knows how much money anyway to bring in. And now Swinney wants you to show a negative test as well. Can you imagine how long that's going to take to get into a venue? Doing a test that you have to wait a few minutes for anyway and showing your vaccine passport. Imagine the queues. It was bad enough when they tried to bring out the vaccine passport at football games, which a lot of clubs just ignored because they saw what a disaster Hamden was. Some people didn't get in the ground until half time. Businesses are now being warned they face cancellations over the Christmas period, especially hospitality venues, by the way. This is the busiest period. They call it the golden quarter for a reason. They make a lot of money. They're being told now they face lots of cancellations if the scheme is extended. They're also accusing the First Minister and Deputy First Minister of creating such confusion because they don't have a clue which venues are actually going to be eligible for the expansion of the vaccine passport scheme. They've got no idea how they're going to run the businesses or if they're even going to be able to run their businesses during the Christmas period. What's going to be the result of this? Simple, isn't it? If people have to go through all this crap just to get into a pub to buy a pint or get into a restaurant to buy a meal, then they're not going to do it, are they? Especially when you can drink at home for cheaper, you can buy food at home and cook it yourself for cheaper. Fair enough, you don't get the atmosphere. But what, what they're trying to make it so difficult for everyone to actually go out and enjoy themselves that they're simply going to kill off the hospitality industry in Scotland once and for all. This could be the final torpedo in that already sinking ship, and it's all the SMP's fault.